embedded into the uh, <laughs> wiring here that they can just communicate <laughs> telepathically. That's what, that's what you get when you get signed by House of 3000. They, they, they chip you. Oh, got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got PT versus Toon Link coming up. Where are we headed? Uh, looks like TNC <laughs> is going to be our starter of choice here. Very nice. Two, one, go! So, okay. I'm very curious as to seeing what um, what Pokemon that Devin is going to be sticking mostly with. Because I feel like it's going to come down to mostly either Squirtle or Ivysaur. You know, Squirtle is, of course, going to have the speed to really make uh, Spoopy think twice about throwing the myriad of projectiles that Spoopy has. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing a great Ooh. Um, great advantage state held by Devin, but now all of a sudden getting the momentum switching back. Yep, they kind of both tethered to the ledge at the exact same time, and Spoopy just barely won out, now putting Spoopy in a bit of an advantage. Devin really looking for these fine whips, but able to find the stock, the first stock with a neutral air. I feel like the story of that first stock was just the pressure that Devin kept up off stage. And let's see if Devin can continue to hold that throughout the match. Great use of the TNC platform right there, coming yeah. in with the air dodge to uh, r avoid any sort of ledge trapping that Spoopy wanted to throw out. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, very unfortunate. Just the raw SD from Spoopy, but hey, follows it up with the F tilt. So like you were saying, you're curious which Pokemon Devin is going to use the majority of the time, but I feel like we all know, true in our hearts, if you're an avid watcher of these House of 3K streams, that Devin is an Ivysaur stand. Is that correct? I think for the most part, yeah. <laughs> Though he has been making great use of Squirtle. We saw Squirtle mm. so much in that. <gasps> the tech? Oh, he no! He knows to footstool the withdraw? That's like... You only know that if you look at, like, the Smash Bros. website. Mm, for sure. I <laughs> feel like the most... Oh, wow. Good conversion there with the boomerang by Spoopy. Bringing it back after that SD. Wow. Yeah, only 35% extra credit and Devin 3000 now with a, you know, even stocks. So, yeah. So, who would you say you would prefer to utilize in this matchup against uh, Toon Link with just, like you said, the myriad of projectiles coming out. Obviously, uh, Devin doing a great job, you know, keeping the pressure off stage, but who would you like to, you know, see Devin utilize more so here? Honestly, I do think I really like the way that Devin has been playing this matchup so far, yeah. which is, you know, get Squirtle in neutral. Squirtle kind of acting as like, if you think about it like a tag game, mm -hmm. Squirtle kind of like the battery character. Yeah. And then once you're ready to finish out stocks at the ledge, he's been making great use of the Ivysaur. But right now, just getting caught by so many projectiles. Now with the Charizard out, this is a scary position for, for Devin. That is a much bigger target to be hit by a lot of boomerangs and bombs and arrows. But for sure. Definitely Devin looking out for those stray hits, especially with Charizard being... Oh, the footstool. footstool! This is keeping me on the edge of my seat. Oh! Just barely living right there and unfortunately facing facing the wrong way to use utilize the water gun. Oh, okay. Use the air dodge. Scooby went so oh, low, yeah. but just... Oh. No, he's got the bomb! And Devin just barely missed the down air. Spoopy with another chance at life only gets the forward air that absolutely could have been a kill. Tech that. Oh, no, I was wrong. You shouldn't have tried to tech. He held down. Charizard. He's smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> Big raid moves there by Devin. My goodness, Charizard's head is just thick. It, it is. <laughs> that is a thick dragon skull. I mean, you you remember he used to have like rock smash. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Got that giant thick skull to hold his massive brain. Yeah. Speaking of <laughs> massive brain, how about that recovery by Spoopy? Just kidding. Yep, this just... was the SD one. <laughs> <laughs> With the bomb, right? This, this one. one yeah, there we go. There it is. That's the one I was talking about. I had no idea that they still had the bomb, but smart job there by uh, Spoopy. But what a weird way to end this first match or this first game. The up B here taking it. But let's tune it back to stream as we're about to get start. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, and I think that was the product of Devin holding down to avoid grabbing the ledge using the fly. All right, so we are going to be running it to PS2 for this game, too. You know, we talk about a lot. PS2 is such a good zoner stage. 
it really the the ps2 platforms offer so much coverage for characters that really just want to chill out and throw projectiles just have just just vibes vibes and boomerangs <laughs> for sure making sure that they stay under those two platforms and get their game started but all right, we got we got something close right now to begin, and uh, let's see how Devin can respond to this counter pick by Spoopy. And waits for the Pokemon switch. Just nice patience from Spoopy. Yeah, very clean read there by Spoopy. All right, now Charizard out. That's a big body for a lot of combos and a lot of projectiles. Devin finally making the switch to Squirtle, and now at Ivysaur, I think maybe almost looking a little bit lost right now. Like, you know, one of these has to work. Absolutely. And Spoopy, you know, with the exception of that SD in the last game, really kept it super competitive. So what do you think about their mindset heading into this game? Like, you know, it seems like they're doing a really great job of getting these conversions. They're stock I mean, number two. Yeah, Spoopy, Spoopy heading into this second game says, you know, all right, I get the counter pick. I get to go to a stage that really benefits yep, me. Yep. And all I need to do is just not SD. Right. And Spoopy's going to be sitting pretty. Yeah, absolutely. Good F smash there by Devin to take away, you know, get the first dog on the board. And then Squirtle doing Squirtle things right now. All right. Devin trying to cover Spoopy recovering low. But Spoopy's been doing a great job of mixing up his recovery, especially like we saw in uh, game one. Good Zare there by Spoopy. Yeah, a lot of withdraws coming out from Devin right now. Just trying to keep the pressure on Spoopy, but oh, the bomb to forward air almost doing it. Another early recovery from Devin, trying to cover himself with hitboxes, getting Getting him some space, but gonna have to work a little bit harder to find the stock. Ooh, the find whip just barely missing, but there it goes, right there, getting the connection on the second roundabout. All yep. right, we still can make some, we still can make the comeback here. Yep, waiting, waiting for the air dodge, and now Devin has a chance to make sure that this is the last game in the set. Not really wanting to go to a game three, but a bomb to forward air. Spoopy making sure that that is going to be what's happening. Yeah, great conversion by Spoopy. We are headed to our first game three of the evening. Definitely a super smart counter pick by Spoopy. And as expected, you know, like you said, these zoners looking to utilize the platforms and hang out under them and set up their game and set up their traps. And that's exactly what Spoopy did. All right, so Spoopy's bands are Smashville and Hollow Bastion. Not wanting to play with any of the monoplats. So let's see where Devin wants to go. Oh yeah, I, uh, we we didn't point this out, but that was a great F smash. Oh yeah, on the very, down air. Yeah, super strong read there by Devin. All right, and it looks like Battlefield is going to be Devin's counter pick of choice. So the the three the the triplats going to be giving him a little bit more room and a little bit more angles with which to approach, and especially of mm. course Ivysaur. I think both. Actually, no, all three Pokemon really love platform conversions and having you, like, stuck on the platform. Yeah, absolutely. So I am excited to see Devin. We did see a couple, like, pretty good uh, platform conversions in that game, too. So once we get that third platform in the mix, I'm excited to see what uh, Devin's going to be throwing out. Ooh, that could have been a water gun. Yeah, that was a very interesting recovery route, but Spoopy's back, you know, trying to get make it back to stage. All right, off stage again, but Spoopy opting to go high this time. Devin has pretty consistently tried to cover re uh, low recoveries, mm, especially right. like that Squirtle neutral air. It's such yep. a long-lasting move. So I'm actually I'm hoping we see more. As Spoopy tries to go out, I want to see more of that, that Vine Whip. Going to be uh, covering a lot more, like, higher of an angle. Yeah, absolutely. Such a useful tool that Ivysaur has in their kit. But we've got to switch to Charizard now, and let's see. You know, we're at pretty high percent, and, you know, Spoopy could easily get those bomb conversions, boomerang conversions in to get the kill on on, uh, on Charizard, but Ooh. Charizard just needs to grab. 
Yeah, you already saw Devin was waiting for it. Devin went to the other side of the stage to try and bait Spoopy into coming closer to center stage. And Devin was waiting for that, uh, like, underneath the top platform grab. But a nice F-tilt from Spoopy. Devin looking to find these scramble situations to just get a raw kill. Not quite working out for him. Going to have to approach things a little, a little more carefully. Yeah, absolutely. Spoopy is playing super sharp right now, really getting these conversions going with the bomb and boomerang into t the forward air. Already 70% and a stock. Oh. Yeah. Devin now sitting at his last stock of game three after, you know, coming down a little bit greedily at uh, stock two. Just put him in a bad, a, like bad momentum, kind of a bad mindset and yeah. just paid for it with the stock. See if Charizard could get one on the board right here, but Spoopy just really taking it to him. Yeah, Back looking yeah. looking to maybe get past all of these projectiles utilizing the Squirtle, but that's gonna make getting the kill a little bit hard. And Spoopy now with 93% on Devin, Spoopy potentially looking at a three stock. Yeah. Not sure if you uh, agree with this, but um, you know, there comes a point in the matchup where you're going up against good uh good throw there by Devin, but it comes a point in the matchup where you are just trying to constantly deal with these projectiles and you become a little impatient, right? Mm -hmm. It's tough to constantly keep that, uh, you know, that patience, that, uh, you know, that reservation and then going in. So it's interesting to see how, you know, now we're seeing Devin play a little more patient again, these edge guards. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the classic Sonar game plan is really yeah. to just frustrate you. And once you feel like a lot of your more normal approach routes are cut off, yeah. that's when you start doing more unconventional things and the Zoner can punish you really hard. Right. I'm going really deep for edge guards, but Spoopy just really carefully spaced around that getup attack and an F tilt. And we all it takes to get Spoopy that set in a a pretty close to one, but it felt like I think this first stock in game three really set the tone yeah. for the entire game three. Because as soon as as soon as Devin came down from that angel platform, it was like a mad scramble. Like I need to get this grab or I need to get this raw up B while Spoopy's already like a couple yards away. Yeah, totally. And Spoopy took full advantage of that, getting a pretty hefty additional damage tacked on off that first dog. Oh, look at Squirtle. <laughs> He's See so ya. angry. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Love the eyebrows. Get out of my town. Squirtle went to the salon earlier today. Yeah, those, those uh, you know, these interactions off stage were definitely working for Devin early on in the match, but then Spoopy was able to just, you know, recover, mix up their recovery mm -hmm. routes, and then land that F-tilt several times, uh, especially in that in that last game, right? Yeah. Game three got two kills uh, off that F-tilt, but good job to both competitors. Uh, Spoopy will be moving on, and Devin will be back at the desk with us.